So today we're going to be checking out the new Paco Rabanne Pure XS Night. And this new Pure XS Night is a new release as of this year. Pure XS, I thought it was okay, but it really didn't impress me all that much. I bought that fragrance and I reviewed it. I kept it for a little while. Ultimately, I ended up selling it off just because it was just missing something, at least in my personal opinion. It just lacked something that I wasn't really too sure of, and it just there's something about it that wasn't really fully my thing, and it kind of let me down a little bit. So because of that, I let it go. But when I saw that Paco Rabanne was releasing Pure Excess Night, I got really excited for it. So in this video, we're going to be checking out Pure Excess Night. I'm going to give you my full thoughts on it. I'm going to tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and all that good stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go and get into this review. So before we get into that, a couple quick things I want to mention. First, this fragrance was sent over to me by FragranceNet. I'm sure most of you in the fragrances know about FragranceNet. They have been in the business for a long time now, offering discounted, authentic, designer and niche fragrances. They always tend to get the new releases pretty quick, like this one, and they also have, you know, tons of fragrances, like 15,000 plus different fragrances to choose from. So they've got basically everything. They do carry a lot of the new releases that have been out this year. So if you've been wanting to pick some of these up, again, including this one, make sure you go check them out. I'll have it linked down below to this fragrance. And on top of that, they also gave me a discount code CHAOS, which will give you 30% off your entire order. So make sure if you do head over there and pick some stuff up, use that code Get you 30% off. That's a really good deal. Again, I can personally vouch for Fragrance Net. They've always treated me really well customer service wise and just when it comes to getting fragrances on time and everything like that. So can't really recommend them enough. Again, I want to thank them for sending this over to me. And of course, Fragrance Net didn't create this fragrance. They didn't, you know, they weren't the creative director of this. So I have no obligation to give this a good review just because it was sent to me. All thoughts in this review are going to be my own. And with that, let's go and get into the review. Let's start off with how Pure Excess Night actually smells. What I get in the opening from this fragrance right away is I get a lot of sweetness. I get some vanilla, I get some cacao, I get a caramel note. That is what I get first. However, after I want to say probably 10, 15, 20 seconds, I get a ton of cinnamon, ginger, and some other like spicy note. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it's just me or just my skin, but all that spiciness from that cinnamon ginger, and I think there's ginseng in there as well, it is overload to the point where it actually has made me sneeze. Believe it or not, when I've smelled this fragrance, it's happened almost every time I spray this one on. Again, the initial opening before all that kicks in is nice and smooth and sweet. But for whatever reason, like 15, 20 seconds later, the cinnamon, ginger, spiciness just comes in and it is strong. Like that's almost all I can smell after about 20 seconds. However, after, again, a couple minutes, like maybe three, four, five minutes, all of that spiciness kind of starts to subside. It starts to go to the background. And again, what starts to come in is the vanilla, the caramel, and the cacao. So it's really weird what this fragrance does. It starts off with those sweeter notes like I mentioned, and then 20 seconds later, a ton of spice comes in and just attacks my nose and makes me sneeze. And then again, a few minutes later, that subsides to the background and I get more of the sweetness. So it really does this weird thing. And I'll be honest, when it's in that phase with all that spiciness, I don't like it that much. It's just too much for me. And the first time I smelled this and I was in that spicy stage, I was let down again. I'm like, you know, I've always looked forward to these Paco Rabanne pure excess fragrances. And then, you know, when I smell them, I'm let down. But I can tell you, after it gets out of that spicy stage, I really start to like it and it starts to warm up and smell great. And I do like this one more than the original pure excess by quite a bit. So at the end of the day, I'm not disappointed with this one. I'm happy with this fragrance, which is nice. Pure Excess, the original, got a ton of praise, a ton of hype. A lot of people really like that one. And this one seems to be the same way as well. I wasn't on board with the original very much, but I am on board with this one. I do like this one a good amount. Working into the dry down, I do still get just a little bit of that cinnamon. Not very much, though. That one goes to the back pretty quickly. What I do get mostly is the vanilla, is this nice caramel note, and some like chocolatey, cacao, cocoa type of note going on. So for me personally, the dry down is where it's at. Smells 
really, really nice in the dry down, really pleasant, really sweet, almost like gourmand smelling. I really am a fan of this in the dry down. So let's go and talk about when you can wear Pure Excess Night. This one to me really is great for evenings. So it's really right there in the name, Pure Excess Night. Now to be fair, I think the original Pure Excess is more suited for evenings as well. So it's not like a surprise there. Um, it's not like, you know, Pure Excess is a daytime scent and this one is a night. I really think they're both evening scents, but I especially think this one is an evening scent. If you want a nice, like sweet day fragrance, this would be a great pick or just a nice little evening out scent that's sweet and, you know, nice and gourmandy smelling. This one would be a great one to go with. You could dress this one up, I would say maybe a little bit, but I wouldn't push it too far. I would say more or less kind of semi-casual to slightly dressed up, um, but I wouldn't say it's a formal fragrance by any means. And in terms of the seasons, this one should be pretty self-explanatory, but really more of a fall and winter fragrance. It works great really for both of them, I would say. Um, I think this one is kind of leaning more towards the winter direction because of the sweeter notes that it has. It has that spicy kick that I look for in fall fragrances, but it has the sweet depth of the vanilla, the uh, cacao, the caramel that I look for in winter fragrances. So it kind of writes the line between fall and winter. So it could work for both. Uh, I would say we would do both of them pretty well. Talking about performance on this one, longevity on my skin has been solid. I've been getting on average about seven to eight hours on my skin, which has been pretty good. Projection on the other hand leaves a little bit to be desired. This one, for whatever reason, doesn't push out very much on my skin. I wish it projected more, but it is soft. So, you know, that's something that could be a deal breaker for some of you. For me personally, again, I do wish it projected more, but with this type of scent, it's not the end of the world for me because it is kind of soft in general in terms of its scent DNA, the nice sweetness that it has. So I'm okay with the fact that it does sit a little bit close to my skin. But if I had my way, I would have it project just a little bit more, but unfortunately, not much we can do about it other than go with a few extra sprays. So performance overall is solid, and I can't really remember what type of performance I got out of the original Pure Excess, but I wanna say it wasn't really that good either, which is another thing that kinda of let me down about the original Pure Excess. I wanna say this one performs a little bit better from what I can remember. I wanna say I got like around six, seven hours longevity from the original, but I don't know for sure. It's been a while since I've worn it, Maybe I'll pick that one up again and just kind of compare them and do a video on that or something because I am kind of getting my interest back into the original. Maybe I'll come back to it and maybe I'll like it more now compared to back then. But yeah, you know, in terms of which one performs better, can't remember for sure, so I don't want to say. But overall, I do get pretty solid performance out of Pure Excess Night. Let's go and talk about the compliment factor and mass appeal of this fragrance. It's going to be, again, one of those mass appealing fragrances. Like I just said, it's one of those fragrances that I would say most people are gonna like, at least outside the fragrance community. I don't think you're gonna find anyone that smells this and goes, oh, what is that? Unless maybe it's in that position where it's pure spiciness, which is actually making me wanna sneeze as I think about it. Um, if it's in that pure spicy stage, it may put some people off. I got a sneeze coming on, I'm not kidding you guys, just thinking about it makes me wanna sneeze. But once you get out of that spicy phase and you're into the dry down, it's warm, it's sweet, it's inviting, that is where I think you're going to pull the compliments, and I think that's where a lot of people are really going to enjoy this scent. So yeah, if you're looking for a mass-pleasing fall and winter fragrance that's going to pull good compliments for you, this is one that you're going to have good luck with. So I'm going to go ahead and start to wrap this review up. My final thoughts on Pure Excess Night, I'm a fan. I like this one, and I'm glad that I do, because again, I was really let down with the original Pure Excess. There was just something that I was missing, and I don't know why, and I think they did a good job of filling in the cracks, so to speak, with this new version. I think they took it, and they just made it better. They really had an improvement over the original, which is which is cool, because I did think that there was you know, something good going for the original. It was just missing something, but I think they did it here. I think they cracked the code. I think they figured it out with this one. Again, that spicy phase that it goes through about 20 seconds in, you know, I I don't like that at all. It makes me sneeze. It makes my eyes water. Not very good. And I don't know if I'm the only one. I haven't watched any reviews on this fragrance or anything, so I don't know if anyone else gets that. Maybe it's just my skin or my nose or whatever, but I get that. But after that goes away, about, you know, four or five minutes later, 
then it gets really, really good. And that's when I'm really happy with the scent. So, you know, overall, very happy with Pure XS Night. Really think they did a good job with this one. And who knows, maybe I'll pick up the original Pure XS, revisit it, and see if I like it better than I did before. And, you know, maybe I'll just get it just to compare the two side by side. And again, I just want to thank FragranceNet for sending this over to me for review. And I just want to clarify that, you know, I gave this fragrance an honest review despite it being sent to me. And again, that's something I want you guys to keep in mind. These discounters, they don't create these fragrances, they just sell them. So, you know, I don't have any obligation to say I love this fragrance because, you know, Pure Excess, Paco Rabanne, they didn't send it to me. Fragrance Nut did. Fragrance Nut has no affiliation with, you know, Paco Rabanne and who made the scent. So I just want to throw it out there. Thank you to Fragrance Nut for sending this out to me. If you want to head over there and support them, support their website and pick up some cool fragrances, again, use my discount code CHAOS for 30% off your order. That will expire in January. So now's the time to get on it, pick some stuff up before that goes away. Again, I'll have links to this fragrance down below. Make sure you go check it out. That's going to do it for this review, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, FragranceNet. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Take care.